Introducing Singal, a powerful single injection treatment for the management of osteoarthritis pain. Singal is a combination visco supplement that combines the long-lasting benefits of a cross-linked hyaluronic acid with a well-established and fast-acting steroid. I'm Femi Ayani, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I'm an associate professor of orthopedic surgery as well. I have published several books and over 300 papers on hip conditions and hip injuries affecting the young adult and middle-aged adult. I'm also the medical director of several professional teams in the local region. When a patient comes to see me, they typically present with a chief complaint of pain. Also with pain is associated loss of function. So, a patient will present and say, my hip is very painful, all the way into the groin, and also when I try to walk, stand, or sit, or even sleep, I have limitations with that as well. A combination of things can be happening, and the hip has multiple pain generators, anything from the labrum to the cartilage, Capsule and infant synovium can be problematic, but oftentimes as you get into your 40s and 50s, you're starting to get some beginning of cartilage wear or early arthritis. And the typical patient who is presenting to have a non-surgical option is somebody who is having a breakdown of cartilage, and you'll see on the x-ray the joint space being reduced and early signs of arthritis, which you will see. Things such as osteophytes or sclerosis on the x-rays, which are technical terms, of course, for early wear and breakdown of the hip joint. When a patient comes to see me, they'd like a few things, and they're very clear typically. They'd like to get pain relief, to have that pain subside. They'd like to increase their function, and they'd like to do it with, uh, without taking pain medications, which are increasingly becoming a problem. So the goals for them are increase activity, reduce pain, and avoid taking oral medications for the most part, if possible. The treatment options that are available to patients who come and see me start from non-surgical or uh, non-operative, so-called conservative treatments, to surgical. Non-operative treatments include medications such as oral anti-inflammatory medications that are over-the-counter, to stronger medications that require a prescription formally, moving on to injectables, which is the next level of invasiveness. Of course, the physical therapies and strengthening uh, exercises can be very helpful. And at the very end, you get into minimally invasive surgery such as arthroscopy to repair cartilage or torn tissues, and finally, replacement therapies to put in an artificial joint. Well, the reason why um, we tend to uh, offer other interventions prior to a hip replacement is, first, your own natural hip is your best hip. And so, you know, if it's lasted 40 years so far, nothing that we have technologically can guarantee the same longevity as the native hip, first thing. Second is, typically, you'd like to start with a patient non-surgically and offer some good therapies that can be very helpful for a substantial amount of time prior to going for the last option. And then when you consider the longevity of the implants, especially in a younger patient or younger person, perhaps we may not get the full term of use uh, if we start implanting these in very uh, young patients. So there are some concerns about implant longevity or survivorship, and there are some concerns about going right to the most invasive option at the first go, when there are potentially options that could be helpful, can buy some time, can give symptom relief, and are safe. I started using visco supplementation about seven to eight years ago uh, for my patients because we had these patients that were tweeners as we've talked about. They weren't quite ready for a hip replacement. They had failed some of the oral medications and weren't candidates for arthroscopy. At the same time, they wanted to remain active. They wanted to continue with their occupation and didn't really want to slow down dramatically. So seven years ago, I started asking a question about what's available to help patients with early arthritis, moderate arthritis, not severe, but those active individuals who need to work and need to stay active. I think Singal has the combination therapy that is quite helpful for patients, the anti-inflammatory component and the hyaluronic acid component. And patients can anticipate 
strong anti-inflammatory relief initially, and then the longevity of the hyaluronic component down the line. And that dual therapy is very effective. Prior agents that I've used, specifically viscous supplementation, um, had a uh, time to uptake that was significant, sometimes two weeks to really get relief, uh, sometimes even longer. So having an agent like Singal that gave that acute relief within several days, followed by the uptake of the hyaluronic acid, which gave, gives relief for a longer substantial amount of time, was very helpful for me, which other agents did not have that I used in the past. Uh, patients typically will come back um, happy for the most the vast majority because of the acute pain relief within several days and the longevity of the relief that lasts several months. The challenges I find when I inject into the hip joint uh, typically have to do with uh, body happiness because the hip joint, unlike any or most joints, is a deeper joint. And so, you know, image guidance is helpful to get into the hip and to make sure you're accurate. So really getting through the soft tissue envelope is the biggest challenge with uh, injecting the hip. At times, the hip capsule can be very thick as well. And so ensuring that you pierce the capsule precisely and inject in a safe way without really dilating the capsule too aggressively while you're doing that is, is uh, the challenge I find. Well, of course, uh, every patient is different. Um, some patients are needle phobic, but for the most part, uh, there's um, some pain uh, post injection for a day or so uh, before the injection takes hold, and after that, you know, substantial benefit. But apart from any uh, the standard pain you obtain from an injection, there's no substantial reaction or problem or um, issue that I have found with injecting signal. My preferred rehab for a patient following injection is cessation of strenuous activities for 48 hours, meaning no gym work, no sports, no strenuous activities to allow that needle track and capsule to settle down, and then resumption of all activities to full by at least day seven. Typically, I would say um, six to nine months is the success as far as duration of symptom reduction. Um, everybody metabolizes this uh, differently, but I always talk about the six to nine month time frame to expect relief of the single injection of the hip. When I speak to patients following an injection, they're generally very happy about the results they've obtained the duration of symptoms and again the resolution of symptoms at the short amount of time usually allows them to be quite happy. There have been some very strong uh, meta-analyses, some from our Center for Disclosure, that have really pulled the world's data on viscous supplementation, particularly single and variants of it, and it's been shown to be quite effective uh, significantly and clinically beneficial compared to placebo type injections. So certainly we have that data in the knee and increasingly in the hip that'll be something we're continuing to investigate and hopefully have some data on soon.